Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Talk Stamps. Today we are going to talk about one of my favorite stamps from the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan. This beautiful five set stamp series was issued in 1964 and the Stanley Gibbons catalog listing for this series is 598 to 602. The stamps feature a map and a picture of King Hussein here at the top left hand corner who was the leader of Jordan, and there is Arabic writing at the top of the stamp with the caption Mutamar al-Kimat al-Arabiya, which corresponds with the English caption at the bottom, Arab Summit Conference. The date listed at the bottom is January 1st, 1964, and at the very bottom it reads in Arabic Al-Mamlaka al-Urdaniya al-Hashemiya, which means the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan and that name also appears in English. The Arab League, also known as the League of Arab States, was established in 1945 as an organization to discuss political, economic, and security issues facing the Arab states. The original members included Transjordan, what later became the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan, and Egypt, Syria, Lebanon, Iraq, Saudi Arabia, and Yemen. Other Arab countries have joined the Arab League since 1945, and today there are 22 member states in the Arab League, which include Algeria, Bahrain, Comoros, Djibouti, Egypt, Iraq, Jordan, Kuwait, Lebanon, Libya, Mauritania, Morocco, Oman, Palestine, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Somalia, Sudan, Syria, Syria, whose membership was actually suspended in the year 2011 as a result of its response to the Arab Spring protests, Tunisia, the United Arab Emirates, and Yemen. This stamp series commemorates the first Arab League summit held in Cairo, Egypt in January 1964, which included at the time all 13 member states. The summit introduced the concept of a Palestinian National Council and later established the Palestine Liberation Organization. The series range in denomination from 10 fills to 80 fills. In 1927, the currency used under the British Mandate of Palestine and Transjordan was the Palestine Pound, equal to the pound sterling, although subdivided into 1,000 mills. After the 1948 Arab-Israeli War, Jordan occupied and later annexed the West Bank and Old City of Jerusalem and replaced the Palestinian pound with its own currency to 1,000 fills, which equal one Jordanian dinar. I love this stamp because it includes a map, and as someone interested in geography, I've always been fascinated by how countries seek to portray their borders. Another reason why I love this particular stamp is due to the multiple interpretations surrounding the image of the map and borders of Jordan. This particular stamp has drawn mixed interpretations, with some philatelists claiming that the stamp portrays a greater Jordan territorial ambition, which denies the existence of a sovereign Israel or Palestine on the map. Other philatelists claim the map represents a celebration of the original British mandate for Palestine as it existed in 1920, which encompassed what is now Jordan, Israel, the West Bank, and Gaza Strip. This interpretation aims to emphasize the unity between Jordan and Palestine and promote the concept of Jordanians and Palestinians as one people. The description in the Stanley Gibbons and Scott catalogs add to the ambiguity of Jordan's borders and attitudes toward the West Bank and Palestine, with the former describing the stamp as King Hussein and Map of Palestine in 1920, and the latter describing it as King Hussein and Map of Jordan and Israel. So the more likely explanation of this particular stamp probably has more to do with Jordan's perception or intention to portray unity between Jordanians and Palestinians 
as one people in one land as it existed for that brief time under the original British mandate for Palestine. Thus, the image of the map probably has less to do with any territorial ambition by King Hussein to expand Jordan's borders into what is now Israel and the Palestinian territories. And yet, interpretations of the stamp differ precisely because of the political context of the period when the stamps were issued. Now, this series also features a souvenir sheet, which you can see right here. There was a souvenir sheet that was issued uh, to commemorate the 1964 Arab League Summit. This is a really nice addition. And, and what do you think? Um, if you like this stamp or if you have thoughts about the map, please be sure to share them in the comments section. And if you find this content interesting, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more stamp videos. Until next time.